Hey, that works. Tech tips from GreenBailerParts.com. Before you adjust your new Tucker Finger update kit, you need to make sure your hay needle comes up into the knotter correctly. The needle should just miss the stripper plates, but should very lightly scrape the knotter frame and bill hook pinion. If it doesn't, adjust your hay needle until it does. Here's how a bent hay needle causes problems. As it advances, it scrapes against the tucker finger, which isn't good. Continuing to come up, the bent needle creates a gap, then closes in again as it rises. Be aware that the needle can bend the other way too, and the best thing to do is just replace it. To start your front to back adjustment, rotate the tucker finger until its point lines up with the bottom of the string slit on the advancing needle. There should be no metal on metal contact at this point, or anywhere on the needle for that matter. As you manually advance the needle, you want a consistent gap width. Then you'll know it's aligned and true. Now secure the front and rear mounting bolts into position. Now to adjust the tucker fingers rotation starting point, detach the pull rod from the bolt and move the finger until its point aligns with the edge of the hay needle slot. Once you get that into position, place the pull rod back on the bolt. If it causes the finger's tip to move from the correct position, remove the pull rod and give it a twist or two until the tucker finger point lines up accurately. Once the tucker finger is in place, fasten the pull rod to secure it. This is how it should line up for perfect tucker finger assembly operation. Hey, that works! Tech tips from GreenBailerParts.com.